Okay, it's the next day. It's time to remember how to put all this back together. Remember how everything uh, came apart. Like we were saying yesterday, everything felt good with the shifter just sitting here. So time to start putting bolts back in, get everything tightened back down, put all the brackets on, seat back on, and take it for a spin and make sure it actually works. So let's uh, start getting uh, things put back together here. Looks like it's shifting half decent. We're gonna power wash it off, then we're gonna change the oil. The oil didn't look the best, so hopefully we don't have an issue there. But we'll change that after we uh, pressure wash it. Don't wanna warm it up too much because you're gonna have to get get in underneath, get all that oil off the oil pan and stuff and down in here where everything was dripping over the frame. Got that thing cleaned up half decent. Got a lot of the oil off of it, mud off of it. We're gonna let it warm up there for a second while I look for an oil filter. Everything seems to be working fine. Looks like we put everything back together. There was only uh, one or two times where we thought we had an extra bolt and another time where we thought we didn't have enough bolts, but we ended up finding it all. You know, some bolts we had left in certain pieces, other bolts we had in a big, uh, big spot expertly cataloged on the table yeah now we're going to change the oil on that hopefully uh that allows us to diagnose another problem we found the oil in that looked a little off colored but we have plenty of coolant so I, I don't know what's getting in there or if it's just due for a change you know that makes us worry that maybe there's a gasket out but we'll get it in here change the oil run it a little bit longer watch both the coolant and the oil and figure that out before we just jump to conclusions here. I gotta look for that oil filter, 1773. There's coolant getting in the oil. Well, we're not That's positive not. yet because. But it, there's a, there's a lot of extra oil. It looks kind of green too. Well, there's nothing we have to change about it. You, you wouldn't think these old tractors would go bad. No. 
Maybe the head gasket will just heal itself. Yeah. It'll be good. Maybe we'll wake up tomorrow and already be fixed. Well, we're not going to worry about it. It's just so we have to be aware of it. So we're going to change the oil anyway. We're going to watch some of this stuff before we get too carried away. But this is the first we're noticing that. So it seems to have all its power and everything in it. And you said you checked the coolant and there was well, there's, a dollar I can, lot. It, but I don't know how much is would be half a gallon of antifreeze. I mean, it maybe ain't that much yet, if it is. It'd be something we'll be watching. It ain't the end of the world. I mean, we can do it. I just never had, never had to deal with that myself yet. I think the hardest part was just getting all this, all this old rusty parts off without <laughs> breaking anything. I think it'll work. Well, one thing is, is the manifold gaskets are all going to heck. That I know. But this tractor does start and stop a lot. A lot of cold starting and then you get like condensation so it was camped out in the cold shed yeah so maybe 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 we'll so lucky. we're not gonna get wild about it because it seems like the motor still has its power and everything so, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make sure we're gonna watch our coolant and our oil level that's what we all we can do so between now and springtime maybe we'll have our, we'll have another project you know, and you don't know. It might be easier than what we just did. I doubt it. Huh? I doubt it. If you got to take the manifold off, I doubt it. I bet we'll break stuff off if we got to take the oh, manifold off. Oh, I don't know. We've. I don't know if you can get to it. If you can get to that gasket know, without taking the take, manifold, that manifold off, because that might the, be on top. It's in the head. So you got a valve cover gasket, and then you got a head gasket. I'm sure all half of these guys are, you know. Oh yeah, really I'm sure know. they're going to come up with some ideas. That's the real reason we're taking our time on this, is so yeah. they can let us know what to do. <laughs> and then we just do it. Yeah. We do whatever they tell us to do. We, yep. we can be experts. We've probably got a million years worth of experience yeah. watching us right now. Like I said, we're just going to get this oil changed, we get everything cleaned up, and then we'll watch our levels over the next month or so, and we'll see. We're gonna to want to get to the bottom of this before hay time if we, if we, because it's not gonna get better if it's an issue. Maybe the condensation, maybe that's Well, the it's not uncommon. You know, it's been quite a winter where it's been cold, so you're warming up, so what does he do? He goes and moves that little bit of hay and shuts it off again. You know, the other ones start out in here where they're warmer, you know, so that doesn't necessarily get that. Oh, I remember oil looking like that out of the MTA when we used to have the cold shed for the starting that every day, questioning how much we got here. We need that much more, so. Who'd have thought the plot just thickens as time goes on? <laughs> it's like, you know, you're pretty young yet. Your <sighs> plots are really gonna get thick before you get my age. <laughs> Start having some kids and all kinds of stuff yeah. happens. But see, it's just a fact of life. If we do nothing, nothing's gonna happen, whether good or bad. You know, if we didn't use the tractor or barely used it, this wouldn't be an issue ever. The more we use things, the more we depend on things, the more projects, the more stuff we do, the more things are going to happen. And we learn a lot from them. I'm not scared to make this work. It's just not knowing exactly what's wrong. If anything serious is wrong, that's really the... Before we get into something. If we tear something apart, we shouldn't have to tear apart. Uh, speaking of turn, did you ever replace that spring or is that still the spring from this fall? That's that's that original out of the junkyard spring. It's still working. Which probably is better than the one you could buy. <laughs> well, it don't. I think it was too heavy at the time, but it might have wore in now. Well, I think you got all this adjustment in here. Yeah, I mean, no, you get another you get another decade out of that. I'll look at it, the <laughs> adjustment. We're all the way to the bottom. We've got plenty of ways to I go. I mean, you ain't going to do that with anything new nowadays. Go find some junkyard spring and then make it work. No, I never really, I mean, if we had to cut hay and bale hay with this and everything, then we'd really be looking at keeping things even better than they already are. Actually, I think out of all the ollies like this, I've seen this one's in pretty good shape. There's very, unless they're collector tractors just for the parade or something, they don't, they don't operate them like this and keep them this nice anymore. So, we'll uh, finish changing the oil. I'll have to get into another. We'll give you guys an update in the future if we find out, but in the meantime, if you guys got any ideas where we should be looking, what we should be looking for, how to figure something like that out. So it was sitting here, what, for two days? I unscrewed the oil really slow and I didn't get I don't know, usually it separates out. 
but does it separate out completely? Because it was a little more milk, a little more watery on the bottom, but then again, that's the condensation. The water will be on the bottom, the oil will be on top. You could almost have like pure antifreeze, the first, you know, little bit that you kind of hold the plug on there a little bit and you start getting just antifreeze. I know I had the head gas go out on my old Jeep and it looked a lot milkier than that. It was almost white, so. Yeah, and it has got a whitishness to it, but then again, we're gonna handle it. Yeah, now all the diehard Oliver guys are gonna be crying in the comments and all the Case and Farmo guys and John Deere guys are gonna be picking on them. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be the most interesting part. Until we find out it's not even a problem. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> to go back the other way. Yeah. Gee. Look, we might start something bigger, bringing up all these problems. <laughs> well, that, that one there had those brake issues, you know, with that little tiny bolt in the brake. This one here does never had that problem, so they all got their Yeah, they all got their issues. Take it easy on each other. <laughs> Okay, we got the new oil in it. We're gonna throw some grease at it as well. So we put about two, two and a half gallons of oil in there. When it and increases up, I could just add a little bit here. But it'd be weird that we'd have that much condensation to where we'd get an extra half gallon, but maybe we'll see. Well, I'll weld this up right away that we're here. It's cracked. Because it'll probably end up falling off in the field. But maybe we should just take all this stuff right off. Think so? What if well, you have to put it back? Well, what if you gotta put the picker on this? Okay, since we're going through it, we'll also uh, check the air filter as well here. Gotta pull the side panel off to access that. Yeah, to get at that gasket, I believe it'd be down here. So the head would probably come with the whole thing. You just have to take apart this and our exhaust up here. So you probably wouldn't have to pull this exhaust manifold off. It looks good. Looks really good. Heck yeah. Lightly blow it out, but sh shoot, I don't even think it needs that. Okay, I got that done. Should hold on for a while. Not the prettiest, but it'll work. Dad just got done fixing up the chain. Made himself a new pin. Or the pin. The pin fell out. Little things like this could save a lot of time. Because let's say we'll, we'll be stuck somewhere, need the chain, and then we realize, oh shucks, the pin and the hook is just. Yeah, and we'd have to like. We'd have to improvise. We'd have to use like half the length of the chain because we'd have to use one hook. Something. Yeah. Messing around. So 
we're done with the Oliver now, and now we're gonna work on the, the door trim for the overhead door. It's funny, because that side is, is looking terrible compared to this side, but then I think it's the angle of the sun that gets the sun more. That plastic is, or vinyl or whatever they call that. The bottom of this side is still getting bad. It's just open 10 million times too. See, in the north sides don't get that sun. The sun is what breaks these things down more. done with the trim on the door now with the Oliver we're just gonna keep a close eye on it as we run it here for a while dad just put a new seat cushion on the 7405 that's the old one leave plenty of comments on your thoughts with that 1650 Oliver and what's going on there also dad reminded me of another project and we brought it up in another video but if you guys would have ever had to tear apart the, the four-wheel drive, um, yeah, we have the transfer case on a 7405, or I believe any of the series from that era, let us know down in the comments. And it's a 7000 series, and they claim, I think it's these two rings here, they told me what'll happen is, is when we take this apart, there'll just be little pieces that'll fall right out of there. So the oil's just sneaking past. These here rings hold the, hold it out of four-wheel drive. If you guys know anything about that, let us know. Same with the 1650 Oliver, how big of a job it would be if we did have to replace the head gasket. Well, what to look for. I think right now I got confidence that it's really nothing. Because the antifreeze, see now I checked, I added some, and then we added like a, not even a quart. And now, a now you're full full, you're past. Full yeah, now full. I'm like right up to the cap, so. It wasn't really low at all. I'm thinking condensation. The motor actually runs pretty good. Here. We'll, we'll mention it again if it's an issue. God knows there's probably 500 other things going on around here that we're not aware of at the moment that are gonna be issues, so. But this four wheel drive thing, we're gonna wanna look at that. So what my plan is, when the snow pack goes down, then we can use the 686 to move feed. We're not gonna put chains on that and stuff. So that'll be fine that way. And that way, just in case we don't get it on the first shot here, if we'd have to send that component in or something, we got a little window there we can play with. So that'll be before field work, but after snowpack goes down. So that's our plan there. Leave plenty of comments. We're gonna end off the video here. Thanks for sticking around to the end. And uh, make sure to stay tuned if, if you enjoy our shop videos. I'm sure there's plenty more to come.